Hi folks, I'm Mark with Artisan Restoration and I'm out here looking at a log home today that um, was built almost 30 some years ago and is uh, oh, holding up pretty good actually. It's, uh, it's uh, got a big overhang on it. That's the key. It's holding up better than the swimming pool. Which is going to get removed this year. And these are all hand scribed pine logs, ranging anywhere from 14 inch diameter to um, down to 12. Over here we've got a, a deck that was built by extending the floor logs through the wall and out past the overhang. Um, the overhang reaches um, probably five feet up there and anyhow um, they're gonna actually redo it and hang it from these chains here. Um, but I don't know if that's going to work or not. The, uh, the outer half of the floor joist is badly deteriorated, so, um, they'll have to be cut off. And, um, we'll see how bad the, the decay is when we, um, we get into it. See if we can save them or just remove the whole thing and hang it from, um, from these purlins. But there's very little decay on the rest of the house, a little bit by the back door, and that's it. So let's go around here, take a look around. This sumac is growing up here pretty, pretty bad. That's gonna be taken out. This was actually the garage um, for the house, and that's been turned into a, a family room now. And that's why there's no windows in it. <clears throat> but there's over on this <clears throat> east side where the garage doors were, they've got a lot of windows in here. So it makes for a decent living space um, due to the fact that those old door openings are now windows. But um, these are all hand scribed logs that are um, carved out on the bottom side of each log so they fit the top of the log below it and that's the reason they all crack and split open on the uh, on the uh, bottom side because that coping process relieves stress in the logs and wants to make them crack so anyway um, <clears throat> They don't extend past the overhang at all. There's, there's no, there's no gutters on it, and um, they're all in really good shape. Um, plus, it helps that they, that they're stepped back, and um, and uh, the overhang doesn't uh, increase. The other thing that needs a little work here is their chimney chase. Um, this has got log siding on up there, and um, it's in really bad shape. It hasn't been stained in years. The other area is this uh, spot here, which is getting a fair amount of splash back from the roof. So we've got to reface uh, that bottom log that's a 14-inch log. And then we've got <clears throat> three crowns over here on this side that... Um, have uh, suffered uh, as well and that's it for log replacement um, so we've got some upward facing checks over here that have been sealed up uh, which is a good idea that should that, that should be continued and um, probably replaced but 
all the decks um, are going to get stripped and stained and the garage here will also um, get a uh, fresh coat of stain so anyhow that's our project here today folks thanks for watching bye